which president served in Congress after his time in office and suffered a fatal stroke on the floor of the House chamber? John Quincy Adams. He collapsed in the House chamber due to a massive stroke and died two days later. His last words were, This is the last of Earth, but I am composed. Which president was the first to be sworn in by his nickname? Jimmy Carter, 39th president, was sworn in as Jimmy, making him the only president so far sworn in by his nickname. Perhaps due to chronic depression, this president is said to have slept up to 11 hours a day and always took an afternoon nap, lasting at least one, two hours. Calvin Coolidge, 30th president, had a habit of hour-long naps after lunch, which became more extreme after the death of his son. Famed inventor Alexander Graham Bell tried to save the life of this president after he was shot by an assassin. James A. Garfield, 20th president, was shot by an assassin and died after lingering for a period. According to his wishes, this president was buried wrapped in the American flag and his head rested on a copy of the U.S. Constitution. Andrew Johnson, 17th president, was buried according to his wishes with a small funeral in the Masonic tradition. Which president worked to save football from being banned in the United States? Theodore Roosevelt, 26th president, intervened to reform football after reports of numerous injuries and deaths. Which president changed the name of the presidential mountain retreat Shangri-La to Camp David after his grandson? Dwight D. Eisenhower, 34th president, renamed the retreat to Camp David in reference to his grandson. Which president took the oath of office in his own home? Chester A. Arthur, 21st president, took the oath of office in a private ceremony at his home after President Garfield's death. Out of the five presidents to have worn a beard, this president is purported to have had the longest. Rutherford B. Hayes, 19th president, is said to have had the longest beard among the five bearded presidents. Which president was a Rhodes Scholar? Bill Clinton, 42nd president, received the Rhodes Scholarship in 1968 and studied law at Oxford University. Mark Twain facilitated the publication of the autobiography of this president that was published the same year in the United States as The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Ulysses S. Grant, 18th president, had his memoirs facilitated by Mark Twain and published successfully. Sixteen years after leaving office, this president was elected to serve in the Confederate House of Representatives. John Tyler, 10th president, served in the Confederate House of Representatives before his death. Who was the only man to be elected twice as U.S. vice president and twice as president of the United States? Richard Nixon, 37th president, served as vice president and was elected president twice. Before Ronald Reagan, this president was the first to be featured in a dramatic film. Grover Cleveland, 22nd and 24th president, was featured in a short, silent film before Reagan's time. Which president has long been labeled a self-proclaimed lover of pickles based on a quote falsely attributed to him? Thomas Jefferson, third president, is falsely attributed with a quote about loving pickles on hot days. Who was the first American-born president? Martin Van Buren, eighth president. Which president made Christmas a national holiday? Ulysses S. Grant, 18th president. Old Whitey was the beloved horse of which president? Zachary Taylor, 12th president. Which president was a classically trained pianist and played four other instruments? Richard Nixon, 37th president, who was the first and only US president to serve non-consecutive terms. 
Grover Cleveland, 22nd and 24th President, which President signed the act creating the United States Marine Band. John Adams, 2nd President, which President and his wife attended Napoleon's coronation at Notre Dame Cathedral. James Monroe, 5th President, who was the first President to have written a biography of another President. Herbert Hoover, 31st President, which President had turned down offers to play professional football. Gerald Ford, 38th President, who was the first President to attend baseball's opening day and throw the ceremonial first pitch. William Howard Taft, 27th President, who was the first American-born President. Martin Van Buren, 8th President, what animal meant for dinner did Calvin Coolidge pardon and keep as a pet? Raccoon, what was the name of Franklin D. Roosevelt's beloved dog? Fowler, whose chair did John Adams and Thomas Jefferson vandalize to get souvenirs? William Shakespeare, an almost certain false rumor claims which president ran over an old woman with his horse or carriage? Franklin Pierce. What did Richard Nixon add to the White House so he could practice his favorite sport at home? Bowling Alley.